Welcome to this week's episode of America Eats and Drinks TV. Food and Beverage Reviews. With your hosts Johnny Hops and Carla Bounds. Like, follow, and subscribe. All right, everyone, welcome out to another episode of America Eats and Drinks TV with your host Johnny Hops and my lovely co host Carla. And we are up in Opelika, Alabama today with K and W Triple Threats Eats. And this is the owner and pitmaster, I guess, Kyle, and his lovely assistant, Wendy. And we're going to find out a little bit about the food truck, about the food, before we get down to business, and that's tasting some of that awesome barbecue, man. I wish that you could smell it right now, man. It is smelling good, smoking right here behind us. So, Kyle, uh, how long have you guys actually been in business? We actually opened December the 4th of 22. Wow. So we've been in business roughly about eight weeks. Okay, that's about as long as the uh, Freaky Fries that we just featured last week yeah, out in Columbus. They yeah. open up around the same time. Yeah. So getting a few newbies here, that, that's good seeing the food truck business yeah. grow around yeah. this area. The food truck industry around here has really grown in the last two years. There's, they do food truck Friday, the first and third Friday of the month in downtown. And last time they did it, there was 17 food trucks down there. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've been a, a few times. I've, I've been yeah. a few times down there oh, yeah. for yeah, I love the food truck Friday, man. They get a lot of uh, variety of food. And they always yeah. have pretty good, decent food trucks, and they have yeah, the live music out. and stuff. Oh, plus, you can walk around downtown with your drink in your hand. That's right. So that's yeah. right. That makes it a plus here, man. That, that, that's yeah. one of my favorite things. Yeah. If, if I can walk around with my alcohol, man. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it reminds you of New Orleans. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So what got you guys started in uh, actually wanting to open up a food truck? We have played with it for about 10 years, talked about buying one, yeah. and we went to the Loach Poker Syrup Shop, and, and I told her, I said, I'm fixing to quit my job, and we're going to buy a food truck. Freak wow. me out. <laughs> well, yeah. I quit my job. This was on Saturday. I quit my job Monday morning and started looking for a food truck. Awesome. Yeah. He loves it's to cook. Right. He runs me out of my own kitchen. Yeah. Uh, he takes over. So, so it's okay. actually his kitchen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is. I just clean up after. Yeah. Oh. Well, everybody has their job. Yeah. Everybody has their part. I have a tendency to make a mess when I cook. Yeah. Sometimes. Well, sometimes it happens. You can't help it. So what got you guys uh, doing a uh, barbecue? Originally, I wasn't going to do barbecue. I was uh, I was just going to do hot dogs, hamburgers, and sausage. And I found this trailer and it had the smoker on it. I was like, look, we got to do barbecue if we got a smoker. So yeah. Yeah. that was how we kind of come about doing barbecue. The yeah. only, and really and truly the only thing that we used is frozen is our french fries. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. All of our sides yeah. are homemade, no, sauces. That, 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 that's why we love the mom and pop stores, man. That's why we love the mom and pop restaurants. You know, it's all fresh made. Don't have to worry about being masked, you know, yes. freezing everything. Because you can just taste the, the frozen yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Especially your meats and vegetables and stuff yeah. like that. It's like, got to be fresh. Got yeah. to be fresh. If we're not here. We're at the grocery store. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, and, when we, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and when we started, I had no idea what I was doing. As far as the starting a food truck, I had no idea. I just yeah. kind of winged it. I mean, it, 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 it took yeah. seven weeks for us to get our Opelika City business license. We started oh, wow. this back in October. Wow. And it took to December to get our, our business license. Yeah. And finding out different areas that we can go to. Yeah. yeah. We're yeah. still searching for events. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. It's like, yeah. you know, it's they're still not as popular here as they are in other areas of the country. Food mm -hmm. trucks are just starting to catch on. All right, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this little conversation with Kyle and Wendy. We're going to let them get back to doing the uh, barbecue and getting our food ready for us and for you. So we'll take a quick break and we'll be back right after this. So don't go anywhere. All right, everyone, we are back at you right now. We're going to take a little tour of the food truck. We're going to check out some of the barbecue cooking up and see it. You, man, I wish we had Smells smell good. our vision yes. going on right now. We've got Kyle back out here. He's taking a quick little break. He's going to be cooking those meats, getting those sides ready for us, showing us a little bit around the kitchen right here right now. So what we got going on here, bro? We got some food right here. Perfect day perfect for day. it today. Yeah. Yeah. Four beef and chicken in it. Nice. All right. We got baked beans. Do you guys have a secret recipe? We do. All right. I like to yeah. hear that. Yeah, me too. Oh, and then we've got homemade chili for the chili cheese fries and hot dogs. Look, homemade. I'm in sort of a chili snob, so. Oh, that's what I was going to say. It's like, man, <laughs> I love me some chili cheese. Yeah. 
feel it. Especially on a day when it's yeah, chilly it like this. Yeah. <laughs> Got your fryer back here. You get just uh, fries you set in it. Just drink fries in it. All right. Do you guys have a special seasoning? Do you use salt pepper or you guys have all of those? Nice. Even better. Awesome. All right. Oh, yeah. That's the way I always put it in there. <laughs> now, I don't know about anyone else, but I know I'm ready to check out the beat in here. Oh, yes. <laughs> I can it's smell it. Real. Oh, yeah. Re re ready to see it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Get hit the face with that. Exactly. I love it. Oh, that's good. Oh, smell a vision, everyone. Yes. Smell the smoke. Yes. That smells good. Those that's ribs. Good. Oh, we got more over here. Here. Mac and cheese. Oh, oh yes. Mac and cheese. Nice. Oh, yes. Oh, I love the crispy top. I, I, I like that's that. That's my favorite yes. part of it, man. <laughs> Got to have that crispiness on yes. the mac and cheese. We created the uh, mac and cheese bowl. It was barbecue on top of it. <gasps> Even <sauce>. better. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Man, Patty, oh, yeah. Let's zoom in down there on something. Always like fresh, never frozen. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, Beautiful looking ribs. Is that a pork loin right yeah. there? Oh. Sandwiches. Nice. <laughs> Sausage. Oh yeah. I like that little crunchy one. Yeah. Man. <laughs> the crispier yeah. the better. <laughs> I like it when it splits open. Exactly. Oh, oh look at that. Oh yeah, we gotta definitely gotta get in on some, look at that bark on that thing, man. The juices on it. Yes. Oh, I bet it, I bet it just melts in your mouth like yeah. butter. All right, well, we've got to see some of the meats and some of the sides. So we're going to take a quick break, let everything finish up. We'll be back at you right after this and trying some of that delicious food. All right, everybody at America Eats and Drinks TV, we are back at you at K&W Triple Threats Eats. And as yes. you can see, we have got a lot of eats here in front of us. We've got the bladder of sides. We got some mac and cheese. Let me get up a little bit. Let's take a good look at that. It's real cheesy, creamy. Got that nice little crunch on the top of it that I just yeah. love. I love that burnt oh, cheese. Goodness. There's nothing yes. like baked <laughs> burnt yes. cheese. Some of the homemade chili. We'll figure out what we're going to do with that. We may even just eat it plain as chili as mm. it is today. Yes. Got some of the barbecue baked beans. Special recipe. Exactly. They wouldn't tell us because yes. they said they'd have to kill us if they did. <laughs> yeah. And then some homemade Brunswick stew. And we know how everybody loves Brunswick stew. And she said that had chicken, pork, and beef, I think. Ooh. Yeah. I'll triple it. thread on yes. that, too. Hence the name. Yeah. And then, let's see. Let's get up here. Got the meats, man. We got some brisket, some sausage. We got the ribs. Got some pork up underneath there. And we will sauce. be showing you that a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Got that hot sauce going on. And we then... The spicy. There was a mild as well. Yes, exactly. Yeah. They got a mild for all you people out there that Eat can't handle these. the heat. But <laughs> the hotter, the better for us. Yes. And then they've got a little bit of this... Duke Southern Sauces Moonshine Barbecue Sauce. May have to try a little bit of that as well. Now the only question is, what to start with? Well, should we start with soups or meats? Ooh, I say meats. Okay, all right, <laughs> I think I'm game. Yeah, me too. Let me get a napkin on me, I don't, because I, I will get it. musty. Like, Go ahead, dip it. I'm gonna Go dip ahead it. and dip it. If you dip, you dip, you mm -hmm. dip. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh, that just, look at how tender looking so that tender. is. Try a little bit of chili. The smoke taste is amazing. It's perfectly, not too much, not too little. Mm. It's amazing. Oh yeah. It's got that nice little crunch from the bark on it. Mm -hmm. mm. That's really good. That's some good brisket. And he said this was only his fourth one. Yeah. I'm coming back for the next one. Exactly. Now, listen, these baked beans, it looks like there's several different kinds of beans. Oh, yeah. And that's a good sign. Yeah. But it's delicious. It's none of that canned stuff. No, everything is fresh made. Mm. Mm. I like that. Got some kidney beans, some navy yes. beans in there. One thing I don't like is beans that are too sweet. 
Yeah. I like more savory, and these are yeah. perfect. I'm gonna go for the Kanega sausage, even though I know what it tastes like. Yes. <laughs> it had some of the sauce on it. It was really good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna dig down and get some of this pork. Oh yeah. Oh, that hot sauce is good. Yes, that sauce it's got is a nice little spice juicy. to it. Yeah, I know you maybe can't see it, but it is about as moist as it comes. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Just falling apart. This yellow sauce is amazing. He said he makes that, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, the hot sauce he makes. That is really good. Now yeah. I see why they're so popular. Oh, French thank fries. You. Yes. <laughs> For the chili. Yes. <laughs> oh, look at those Pickle nice things. Yes. Mm. Mm hmm Oh yeah. You can't have all this meat with no fries. No. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm sort of obsessed with dipping this in the beans now. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That is delicious. Mm. Got to try those fall off the bone ribs, and it's still falling off the bone. It really is. You can see. Fall oh. right. Oh, look at that. It Literally, it falls right mm. off the bone. It is so tender. Got a nice little smoke ring in it. Now I got to try the ribs. Be careful. It's going to fall all right over start. you. Mm. Mm. Oh, man. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh. That was really, really good. I'm going to have to take a quick break and try mm. some of this creamy mac and cheese right here. Get some of that. They also serve this with meat on top. Ooh, so you can get barbecue. Yes. Barbecue mac and cheese. Oh gosh. Nice and cheesy. Mmm. Oh, oh it's got good. that smoke flavor comes through. It does. I love the top. I like that. The top that got oven baked a little uh -huh. bit. Mmm. Yeah, I, I love my mac and cheese to have that little crunchy top on it, man. Yes. Where you get that crunch and then you got the creaminess of the noodles and mm -hmm. the cheese and as you saw earlier the cheese is just oh it just stretches got that brunswick stew you said it was made with what are the meats in it three meats chicken beef and pork oh the triple yeah. triple threat now see it's got some corn in there too yeah. some lima beans some tomato chunks mm. Mm. very good flavor that's a that. meal in itself right it there. Is. Super hearty. Mm -hmm. Perfect like way to perfect way to warm you up on a cold day like this. Mm -hmm. Come and get you some of that hot Brunswick stew, some chili as well, man. Yes. It'll warm you to the bone. Now listen, I'm a chili snob. Uh oh. I know. Uh oh. I don't know why, but I am. <laughs> it tastes like it's from a can. I don't want it. Yeah. See the chunks of meat in it. In Minnesota, we used to put. There's some people that put peanut butter in it, chocolate in it. Really? In it. It's not oh, my thing. That is. I've never heard of either yeah. one of those. Huh. I never grew up with it like that. I like it more savory. I see some onions in there mm. as well. Hmm. Definitely not from a can. I love it. Oh yeah. But so we'll go ahead and try some of that Duke Southern sauces made with some moonshine. Ooh, that's looking nice and creamy. All right, let's try it. Nice and dark color to it. I'll put it on my brisket, which doesn't even need it. But for the sake of trying Ooh, the barbecue sauce. That is good. Nice and sweet. Mm. Oh, that is really good. Mm -hmm. mm. That is fantastic. As you eat it, you can taste the flavor sort of changes a little bit. Yeah. You get that moonshine. That is good. I've never even heard of that before. Me neither. Mm. Hop to now. Smoky hickory and salted moonshine. Bring mm. the back country to pork barbecue and brisket. Huh. And as you can see, Plenty of food now. Yeah, can you? Oh, oh, watch this! Watch this! Oh man, <laughs> I had it. It's Take been waiting two. on us for a while. Take two. Yeah. <laughs> oh man! And look at all that crunchy yes. out there, man. Oh yeah, that's the bite I want. That's the best part. I think they gave you all the crunchy. Because <laughs> I'm so cute. I'm jealous. Dare I say they gave us too much food? Oh. I'll eat it all. Don't worry. Exactly. <laughs> what we don't eat here, we'll eat a little bit later on today. Mm, yeah. It'll go good with some bourbon or uh, yes. it'll go good down at the distillery later on. Well, come dinner time, I'll be wanting more. Yep. So this will exactly. be perfect. Have, yes. have plenty. You can eat it in front of your daughter and be like, <laughs> Make your look at this mac and cheese. Yes. Mm. <laughs> it's so good. You don't get any until we go up there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but mom. Yeah, be very mad. <laughs> 
as you guys have seen, man, but follow me. This is the third barbecue place that I've done in the last couple of weeks. I did Lori Q barbecue food truck down in Brooksville, Florida, right outside of Tampa. I did Zombie Pig in mm. Columbus, Georgia. Sadly, I did those without my co-host because it was before we got together. It. But now that we're teaming up, you're going to see both of us on yeah. these episodes traveling around to your favorite breweries, festivals, wineries, distilleries, restaurants, bar and grills, and of course, the food trucks, man. Yeah. I've always been a big fan of the food trucks. And you've actually got a food truck festival coming up shortly at, at your business, uh, yes. Bluebell. Yes, Blue I'm Bell. Bluebell in Columbus, Georgia, and we do festivals throughout the year. And we decided to add an, a strictly food truck festival this year um, to the, our, our lineup. So I'm pretty excited. We got a tent and everything. It's going to be awesome. amazing. And it's two weeks after I'm going to be in the Gulf Coast in Gulfport, Mississippi. Mm for the Beer, Bacon, and Chocolate Festival. Mm. Uh, I am looking forward to that. Bacon. Oh, me too. <laughs> it's like, what goes good with bacon? Or bacon. Yes. And of course, beer. Absolutely. So I'm looking forward to doing that. That's a great festival for a great cause. It uh, supports Mississippi Heroes, which is uh, first responders, military. Everything is so delicious, man. Yes. The meats, the sides. Oh, that yeah, I think they pretty much gave us a little bit of everything, right? Yes, they did. Yes, they we did. got a little bit of everything here today, except for the hamburger. Oh, which, yeah. If you don't like barbecue, which was fine with us that we didn't get the hamburger, yeah. we wanted the real it was barbecue. Huge. I wouldn't have been able to handle all that. Huge handmade patties look like about eight ounces, maybe a little more. Yeah. Well, I'm really excited that they decided to take the plunge yep. and make this truck because it was definitely. Oh, worth me it. too. It was a good choice. It can't be an easy thing to do to quit your job and go buy a food truck. <laughs> no, it can't. Uh -huh. Yeah, I get some of that pork down there. Mm -hmm. No, yours looks way, mine looks like a mess. I've been digging through it. Mm -hmm. Yours looks more organized. Yeah, I've been doing a little more talking. <laughs> I need to do less talking, more eating. Kyle and Wendy, man, great people, great food truck. They're out here at the Tractor Supply every Thursday from 10.30 until 12.30 Central Time. So it's 11.30 to 1.30 Eastern for all of you coming in from Columbus or Phoenix City area. And it is worth the drive to come up here. 100%. Definitely and I drove all the way the from Midland, technically. Yeah. So this is a jaunt. It was definitely worth the drive. I would absolutely do it again. But if you got a food truck, barbecue food truck, or a regular food truck, man, yes. get Any in touch food. with us, man. We'll come and feature you. Like I said earlier, we, we said we're looking at doing the best pizza in Columbus. Yes. We'll be doing the best barbecue as well. We get enough barbecue places, food trucks, and restaurants. So always send your suggestions in, man. Comment on our posts, the places that you want us to go. We want to hear We'll make them. it happen, man. As long as they want to have us, we'll have them. Yeah. Especially some of these new guys. We might not have yeah, heard about them exactly. yet. Exactly. Like these guys are new. Yeah. Maybe you're new or you're thinking about it. Let us know. Yeah, exactly. No, we, yeah. we can make it happen. Give you a little publicity. Get yes. your name out there. Yes. So we're going to go ahead and take a quick break. And we'll wrap things up right after this. All right, everybody. Back at you after that quick break. We're getting ready to wrap things up here at America Eats and Drinks TV at KNW Triple Threats Eats. And the KNW is for Kyle and Wendy. Yeah. That is correct. So we're going to go ahead and wrap it up, man. Everything was delicious, it man. Really Those was. ribs fall off the bone tender, man, just the way you love them. I mean, yeah. got it. That, that's how I judge a barbecue place by their ribs. If they can't cook ribs, they can't cook anything else in my eyes. Yeah. That's exactly it, it, It's yeah. like, you know, it's got to be fall off the bone, not stick to the bone. And these mm. were tender, delicious. The brisket was great. It had that nice little crunch on the outside yeah. of it, nice and tender on the inside. Uh, sausage the same way a little crunch on the outside, on yep. the outside of it on the wrapping yeah. the sides the cheap mac and cheese first thing you taste is that smoke flavor oh yeah and it, it, it's something that's different totally different man yeah. got that smoke flavor got got that crunch with the cheese the baked cheese on the, on the top goodness. i yeah. love that part of it <laughs> yeah. and the baked beans man you guys use couple of different types of beans in that pinto yes. beans and navy beans or no it's, nope. it's two different kinds of pinto beans oh okay oh. and then just uh i don't really know what the other one is yeah <laughs> that, 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 that's his little secret <laughs> <laughs> that's his way of saying yeah. he's not telling us yeah. <laughs> yeah. but yeah everything was excellent man great service great food man Wish you guys the best of luck and yeah, glad that so you had us out you. here. Thank y'all. Yeah. And we're looking forward to getting everyone to come out here to Open Light. You guys here every Thursday here at the Tractor Supply. We're at Touch Supply on Thursday, Bubba's on Friday, 
Tracks fly most of the time on Saturdays and then bubbles on Mondays. All, All right. right. So well, you know where they're at, man. Yes. So if you're up here in the Opelika, the Auburn area, make that short trip over here to Pepperell Parkway at the Tractor Supply. You won't be disappointed. This is your host, Johnny Hops. And Carla Bounce. Bounce. And we are signing out with another episode of America Eats and Drinks TV. Till next time, everyone. Bye, guys. Peace. Like and follow us. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified when we post new content. See you next Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.